Welcome back YouTubers to my channel of an everyday life of an ASB. If you're new to my channel, I welcome you all. I'm ASB. I'm all about creating mental health and awareness and sharing my life stories. As you're aware, obviously, even though I'm missing out of action and whatnot at this point of time, I'm at this point of time going to be floating about in some groups right now, commenting on certain bits and pieces. But for now, I'm hoping just to bring out some more videos while I'm out of action and hopefully in saying this that you'll enjoy some of them. So this one's going to be on the uptake of what I've just been watching and support of one of the fellow YouTubers by the name of Max McCrell. He got me thinking, obviously, because this one was supposed to be done, obviously, last year, but I didn't get around for it. So this one's going to be on it now, hopefully. And this one's all about success, what success means to me, because as we know, basically, everybody's differentiation of success will mean differently. So you can listen into this and actually... You know, let me know what your guys' success is and all that in the comments below or even just write it down and actually share it on a video format as well if you want for the ones that are watching, be it my subscribers or the ones that hasn't subscribed as yet. So if you're liking some of the, some of these motivational videos as well as all these autism and series of what I've been sharing, smash the like and comment below just to let me know because as I said, it will be much appreciated. So let's begin this before I run out of time. So says is defined by dictionary.com by many things. So number one, it's the favorable or prosperous termination of attempts or endeavors, the accomplishment of one's goals. Two is the attainment of wealth, position, honors, or the like of whatever it may be. Three, a performance or achievement that marked that is marked by success i.e. maybe attainment of honours or some form of that. I believe that we shouldn't be told what to do and how we should be achieving because everybody's life journey is different, as we know. You know, our journey is different from each of us. My journey is slow, obviously, from some people's perspective. Yes, yeah, so be it. You know, yes, I haven't achieved of what I was hoping to achieve, be it getting a car, a car licence and the like, and everyone else is telling me, oh, you should be married by the age of whatever. But do I really want to? Because obviously, at the end of the day, I don't feel I should be doing it in each succession of your guys' age of how you guys achieved it all. Everybody's, obviously, ideals of success will mean, as I said, differently to each other. And what we define success may mean different to each one of us. So, you may be questioning, well, Aspie, what is success to you? What, how does it define to you? Well, success to me as a whole means that in the little achievements I have accomplished in this time of my day of living, you know, be it making friends, even though when I was younger, I struggled to make friends, be it if it's friends in general out in the outside world or just on the social media. You know, sometimes I feel that with some of the friends I've made on the social media, they've been really supportive and encouraged me to push on through, which is good, you know. So far also in the saying this of success for me and achievement of the little goals bit that I've urged the courage to, right now to share my life story with this Bridges syndrome and the like as well as just bringing out awareness and understanding to how life is working for me regardless of what it may be. You know, because I know everybody may want to know more about us regardless of what it may be. Also in saying this though, however, success to me as a whole means... Based on these little achievements I've made, so far in life, with these goals in mind that I have, you know, put in place, even if they are these little tiny steps, as I said, they do vary from person to person, is also based on the everyday choices I've made, the good, the bad and the ugly, even though allowing for my dedication, motivation, you know, and and what have you, to keep moving forward and not to look back regardless of what all these haters comes on at my back of my neck thinking that I won't accomplish it. But as I say, brush them off and actually keep on, keep on. And saying this though, in this, with to move on forward and not to look back category, this will also, based on my successes, is to allow me to make room for mistakes, allow me to within these mistakes and choices I've made, the good, bad and the ugly, to help me to grow spiritually, mentally and physically to become who I am today as a young woman. So this to me is to do what I love doing and that is obviously a lot of things. Be it if it's helping supporting others on the community of YouTube, be it if it's just supporting others outside the 
YouTube channel of mine, be it if I'm seeing people or be it if it's just sitting down, you know, hearing of some people telling me that they're liking listening to my stories or they just like to hear some of these bits and pieces of what I'm being able to share. I am actually, to me, this is also of what I've been through is I'm a loving kicking regardless of it all and I'm showing and proving the world that I can do anything somehow and sharing these stories with you today means a whole deal more. With all the passions, goals, dreams, etc. I have, I have chosen to keep on pushing forward regardless by having the right attitude and mindset to achieve them and this goes for anybody for this matter. It's also about being a doer and not a goner as of one that I'm learning, obviously, right now, trying to get out of the comfort zone regardless of it all, even though, yes, I like to be sitting in the same place day in, day out, but then again, now, as you guys have been aware, if you've been following me from the very beginning, I've also been out and about traveling and whatnot. It's also trying to not be afraid of, you know, getting out of that comfort zone now and again, obviously, just taking it a leap of faith of just you know, little steps at a time if need be for for myself included to know what is to come. Even though faith is by seeing and believing of the unknown, of the uncertainties of what is to come, regardless, I believe. But to me, success is doing something that you love, obviously, period. Obviously, I like to help people, regardless if it's through my videos of what I've shared so far in the last two, three years of my channel, or obviously just to bring it out there hopefully more uh, later on in life regardless. Success to me is also being healthy and alive and just being able to just, you know, be there for others. Obviously, I am hoping to be an influencer to influence you by motivating you guys and encouraging you all regardless what it is, being a mental support advocate, whatever it may be, based on the everyday challenges that I face and sharing them with you. Success doesn't have to be fame and fortune, money and status titles and what have you. I don't believe that in one second. It's okay for others that may think success to them is all about money, titles and whatever. But then again, is what... Max forgot to add into this video, which I'll add the quote that he quoted as what I like, as well as another quote I'm going to share with you all, which is by Alan Watts. Obviously, he goes, um, forget the money, because if you say that getting the money is the most important thing, you'll be spending your life wasting your time. You'll be doing the things that you don't like doing in order to go on living. That's in order to do things you don't enjoy or like doing, which is stupid. Better to have a short life that's full of things you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. And then another quote I want to share with you all before I end this to shout out to you is, is success comes to those who dedicate everything to their passions in life. To be successful, it's also very important to be humble and never let fame, money, or money travel to your head. And this quote was by A.R. Rayam and Obviously, these are the two quotes I am trying to live by. Many people know I'm a quiet, humble little aspect, just minding my own business, getting on with my life. So my my ending here is don't always think or ask yourself about what the what ifs. Don't worry about what others are saying to you, putting on some expectations on you about how you should be succeeding in life. Take the little steps if need be. Be a bit of interest. Be brave. Be bold. Be what have you. Be yourself in the long run, you know. Don't forever compare yourself on other people's journey because you don't even know what their journey or life was about before they came to that point of success, even though some people stop at that point of success, you know, for fear of whatever it may be. Do what makes you happy and at peace in yourself. So a lot of this I want to end on your, on this note, guys, is maybe to challenge you guys to do this video, what I'm sharing to you after watching Max 1, which I will link Max's channel below so that you can support him so this is a shout out to max sort of thing and in all saying this guys hopefully you're enjoying these smash the like if you are comment below feel free to share these videos around to family and friends and all for the do guys thanks for support thanks for watching do what you love love what you're doing until next time sp signing out and i'll see you again soon ciao for now